The next drill, so what we've done so far, you've seen we've worked from basic, simple drills with not a lot of contact, more speed, more evasion, more ball work. So now we want to try and integrate those key tackling skills into a game-based situation that's actually going to occur on the footy field because there's no point doing, you know, you can kick all day under pressure to the target. Let's do those skills. Let's apply what we learn in a pressure-based situation that's going to develop your speed, your agility, your fitness, and your decision-making. So a basic drill, I think Jason Twain took it yesterday. I call it the plus one drill. Basically, you start off with three guys in the middle. Once they get three handballs, the defender runs in. Another three handballs, the defender runs in. A fantastic drill developing all those key qualities. Another drill that plays similar to that one is what I call a five on five swap ball. So basically you're going to get, I'll just go three for the moment, three guys in the square here, another three in the square. Any volunteers? Yeah, it's fun. I'm filming it. Extra marks for ten. <laughs> Alright, so what's going to happen guys is you've just got to work through a chain of handball, so you've got to work between you guys, so one, two, three, full contact, full tackling, um, lay it out, so keep within the confines of the square, take the body contact, I'll take it, yep, no, no, so anywhere, which way direction, so it's just ball control, yep, yep, lock, shepherd, bum, good, nice work, one, three, lovely, get the square, four, Yep, turn over. Yep, come back, start it up, start up. Good block, that's one. That's a one. Four, one, another team for it. One. Block, what's the word? Two. Get the square. Three. Four. And there we go, turn over. So another variation on the drill, just to make sure the guys are alert and awake. Once the ball hits the deck or if one team's got the footy too much, call swap ball, chuck another ball in, another contest. When you're ready, guys. Oh, oh, yep. Three. Swap ball, here it is. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> Good tackle. <laughs> Right, so as you can see guys, give it a round, nice work. Good work. Too early. So guys, grab a cone. Again, what? Grab a cone. Sweet! <laughs> <laughs> Number two, your strength and conditioning or anything to do with football is that we want to try and become a better football, what do you do? Play football. As conditioning coaches or whatever, a lot of times we get focused on developing athletes' fitness and a lot of times that means you know getting them running. You can run and you can be fit, but if you can't kick the footy and you can't hit a target or you can't take body contact, you're not going to win. So if you train your footballs to be better, fitter, faster footballs in the actual football specific drills, they're going to be better able to translate that into the football field. And the results that I've been fortunate enough to experience with utilising these types of drills has been phenomenal with athletes between the ages of 10 to 30, all different levels. You've got school based groups, regional groups, academy groups, and also senior footballers. So integrate those drills in your training, see what benefits you get from them. And you look at the data um, at Geelong and that, and also obviously professional clubs, they've got the GPSs. They look at these drills, and these drills replicate the demands of football. So it develops their speed, their agility, their decision making, their evasion, as well as their fitness. So if you can incorporate all those different qualities into one drill, it's a great drill rather than just doing pure running, but the guys are running laps, not developing their skills, they're not developing their agility, they're not developing their decision making, so they're not probably going to be better footballs. They might be fitter but they're probably not going to be better footballers. And our role is to make them better footballers. Does that make sense? Yeah, sweet, all right. Have another go of those drills there. So there you go. Oh, Four cones, one done.